you can really start from almost anything. I mean, beginnings are obviously incredibly hard. I mean, I, I find them maybe the hardest thing. Um, often for me, it will be something, some very, uh, some some very kind of um, banal detail like instrumentation or you know where the piece is happening um, that that kind of spurs me in a particular direction um, and it's it's just kind of a, a game of mental um, uh, kind of kind of free association. Um, and eventually you kind of hit on something. Or, um, you know, more, more concretely, it can, it can be uh, something musical, like a little, a little musical, um, like grain that you get in your head and you, you kind of go to the piano and worry it for a while and kind of see, see what you can do. And if it doesn't have, if it ends up not having possibilities, then, then you put it aside and, and maybe come up with something else. There was, um, yeah, I have a, a piece called Home Stretch, uh, which is a, a concerto for piano and small orchestra. Um, that was a piece that the beginning really came to be very easily, and it was um, something very atmospheric and kind of static uh, that that was um, kind of a little bit inspired by uh, by Brian Eno's ambient music and this kind of like the events in a dense fog uh, type of track. It's hard to uh, I mean if I, I could make a, a visual metaphor it's like if you're making a painting like you can always sort of get closer or get farther away and, and sort of see how it looks from different distances and different angles. But, um, but when you're writing 20 minutes of music, it's kind of difficult to get that perspective. I mean, you, because you don't have an orchestra right there that can play through it for you. I mean, the computer does like a, an okay sort of approximation, though I hardly ever use it. Um, and then I can sort of bumble through it on the piano myself, but then I'm kind of worrying about playing it, and I don't like have the necessary perspective to sort of sit back and listen to if this section lasts too long or this section is too short. Um, so it's kind of something that you need to to feel out, um, and it's something that you I think you get a little bit of a better handle on the more you do it, um, but. That said, it's still a, a really hard thing. I mean, it's, um, I mean, it's it's hard to work with this this medium that exists in time, and it's a very very different time scale. The finished product is at a very different time scale than the work. I mean, you spend because you spend like weeks and months on maybe you know ten minutes of music, um, what, in, what in the final product will last 10 minutes. So, uh, you know, in that way it's, it's kind of like film or, um, or, or dance, um, theater, one of those things that you can't really have an idea of what it will be like before it's <laughs> almost too late. So. I guess that's why people revise after the fact.